In North American cities, there are over 100,000 skyscrapers. Every one of them built by hand. There are no shortcuts. Watch it, watch it! It's back-breaking, dangerous work with no margin for error. What the fuck? One wrong step and you're on the ground floor. Why is the plate just stuck out on one of them? For Dan McCormick and McCormick Steel, no job is too big or too tough. Okay, we'll cut it off if you have to. Kick it. The Trump building is the toughest I've ever done in 35 years. A family-run business, McCormick Steel does the jobs no one else can. There's always danger when you're hoisting something 900 feet in the air. And every day is a new challenge. Take an adrenaline-pumping lift into the lives of Dan and his crew of steel cowboys as they race against time and the elements to get the job done. Not a bad day for us today. The guaranteed high, 8 degrees, but not so nice tonight. Minus 1, and then showers and flurries for the afternoon, and then wet snow for the evening. Could get a slushy As the rest of the city wakes up to a cold and miserable day, it's just another early start for Dan McCormick and his high steel crew. Today we have two jobs that we need to get done. The Richmond Street Bakery and the Trump Tower. Both of the jobs are different and the rain forecast isn't gonna make it any easier. But for veteran steel worker Dan McCormick and McCormick Steel, tough jobs are their stock and trade. My specialty would be big lifts. Big welding jobs, things like that, that other guys don't wanna do. That's what we want. Okay, we gotta roll. Designated as an historic site, the builders of the Richmond Street Bakery condominium project want to save the original structure at street level and build a multi-floor building directly over top of it. To secure the existing structure and to carry the tremendous weight of the new building, an integrated network of steel columns must be precisely laced through the building and tied together. If it's not done properly, it could fall down. There could be people injured on the street. If you look on the far side on Richmond Street, there's just a little hoarding there. It, it wouldn't save nothing. If that wall fell down, it could injure people. With the clock ticking and the weather threatening, Dan needs to get his Richmond Street bakery crew on the move so he can get to the next job. But there's a bit of a hitch with the site foreman. Our normal guy, Andre, went on vacation yesterday. He's gone to Miami. I'm leaving Rod Brake and Areva in charge today. I've known Rod for 12 to 15 years. This is his first time in this position. He wants to do well. He wants things to happen. He wants it to go good. He's intense, to say the least. I've been there. I know what it's like. Park the tractor trailer here in Kansas. You can get right by us. Rodrigo has been part of Dan's team for 10 years. A veteran of an elite crew of highly specialized iron workers, his confidence and leadership abilities are going to be put to the test today. So I'm going to go through the list, see what I have for columns, and open up certain holes. You know, I mean, there's no sense opening everything up. But okay, if you want more columns, let me know because I'll I'll tell them to send them. Yeah. Is there any reason why we can't get them all up today and tomorrow? Um, no. Today we want to get all these columns up complete and then we can get rid of the crane. The crane's our big expense here, so we want to get it out of town. If this job's not done by today, we'll have to bring the crane back tomorrow and that's a big expense. I'll have to listen to my brother. He's my younger brother, so I don't like taking flack from him. Every day we have a lot on the go and we have to stay on top of it. These jobs take a lot of organizing. The men need the tools to get the job done. If they don't have the tools, they can't do the work. It's very simple. There'll be five guys standing there. If the crane doesn't show up, what do they do? They can't do nothing. The jobs are big, the money is big, but the penalties are bigger if we don't finish on time. McCormick Campbell Steel has been in business since 2009. I have 25 years in the business. Dan has about 36. Between the two of us, we have over 60 years experience. Our father was an iron worker. Our uncle was an iron worker. It's in our blood, iron work. We decided a long time ago that we wanted to be the go-to guys for projects that were too tough or too hard to do for whatever reason. If you want a plain box built, we're not the people to come to. We, want, we do hard jobs, like raising this fire on the Trump Tower. 
That's the kind of work that we do, and we do it well. Toronto's Trump Tower is the newest jewel in the crown for the flamboyant real estate tycoon. And like all the other landmark buildings in his portfolio, this one will stand out with a signature six-story high, 90-ton spire at the top of the 57-story tower. We need this process going. And then when we're jacking on big, we're gonna look at toggling that out a little more. We're lifting with the strand jack system, the hydraulic jack system that we got from California. The spire weighs 90 tons. We put it together down inside the building from level 50 up through our tower, and we had to lift it 110 feet to get it into its final position. Yeah, for the Trump Tower, we had to close all the streets in the financial district. That was a biggie. Why is the plate just stuck out on one of them? I don't know why. Well, that was the one that... Tower's been one of the toughest jobs that I've worked on in 35 years, but we got it done. Yeah, and it usually comes down to the guys who work for us. Like Dermot Pico. Yeah, it's great to have guys like Dermot that the young guys look up to. Uh, my name is Jeremy Brazier. I've been an iron worker for 10 years. Me and Dermot have been uh, working together constantly for about five months. We've been on uh, all the same jobs together. He's a great guy. He's, he's a good guy. You can learn a lot from him. And you see he's got that bad habit of smoking cigarettes, eh? I talk back to him once in a while, but more just jokingly, right? Just, just goofing around, like I don't... Nothing serious, I, would, I have the utmost respect for him. <laughs> Not another one. <laughs> With the Richmond Street crew well underway, it's time for Dan to head across town, back to the site of McCormick Steel's toughest job yet. Today we plan to come and hoist the window washing unit and another lift for anchor shoring and bring something off the roof as well. There's a bunch of netting up on top of the roof. We're going to bring that back down to the ground. The plan is for Dan and his team to lift a 10,000 pound window washing unit 900 feet in the air. Lifting massive objects with cranes and derricks requires highly organized and precise teamwork. And even when everything is planned out to the last detail, things can go horribly wrong. I've never seen the cable jump around like that. I've never seen it happen. For the Steel Cowboys of McCormick Steel, it's just another day on the job. With two job sites on the go, Dan McCormick has his hands full. I've never seen the cable jump around like that. I've never seen it happen. Something's wrong. A radio call to the crane operator on top of the 57-story building has Dan concerned. He said it was a hydraulic flow problem. Maybe the drum is, is uh, stopping and starting slightly. I don't know possibly could shut us down today, but I hope not. Over at the Richmond Street Bakery, the team is installing a network of steel columns that will secure the walls of a landmark building and allow the developer to erect a multi-story building directly above it. For rookie crew chief Rod Nareva, things are going pretty well. Can you hear me? Directing the columns over and through the building requires attention to detail and precise teamwork. First column going in, right, so you can see how we did it. We had to shake it out off the truck, get it uh, organized, and then we can start standing them up. We had to come up with a safe way of getting it in place, so we burnt a hole in the top of the column, and we used a 7-8 shackle sort of thing. Okay. This is the correct orientation, yeah? The crew working in the basement, fixing the columns in place, is working virtually blind. Hello, Rod. Basically, I told the operator, if he can't hear us on the radio, just to stop completely. Coming down. Coming down. Coming down. Coming down. So 38 more to go. OK. OK, horse face. You can fucking nuts off, eh? Go, Bray Bush. That's the respect you get from them young fucking bunts. <laughs> Back up. You're doing great. Back at the Trump Tower, the main window washing unit has just arrived. Dan spends some time speaking with the Trump Tower site supervisor, Chris Trentham, to make sure that everyone is prepared for the job at hand. I have a great working relationship with Dan. Dan's been around the business for longer than I've been alive. Uh, he knows what he's doing, no nonsense. 
likes to keep keep everybody moving and be productive. Dan's a great, great man to work with. The main turntable base, this turret base with the two legs bolted up is around 10,000 pounds. With the weather quickly deteriorating and the wind beginning to pick up, the giant Trump Tower lifting Derek is exhibiting some unusual behavior. We got a little concern with the wind. Dan, you gotta go up in. The load could get swinging. If the wind picks up, it could swing and go in and hit the building, break some glass. That'd be bad. Big expense. If there's a high wind situation, I can't hoist it because I, I run the risk of the load spinning, but potentially getting out of control, damaging our building, which is a huge safety factor for everybody. Just grab this, get it in the air, and then we can take these, like you said, get them off with the tow motor, and then I get the truck out of here. Okay. As the big lift starts at the Trump Tower, over at the Richmond Street Bakery, rookie crew chief Rod Nareva runs into a major problem that will need to be solved quickly if he wants to keep his crew working at full speed. Right over here! The one right above your head! Yeah, it's fucking big enough. <laughs> the uh, openings aren't 100%, uh, so we're up against the concrete on one of the uh, floors. They're gonna have to put either, we gotta take the whole section of floor out. Right. Or maybe not. <laughs> we had to skip a hole only because uh, we had interference in the way. So we've got to get the general contractor to cut it out. So we're just going to skip a hole and we're going to carry on. We're still shaking out some steel. So uh, we'll be ready to start erecting here or standing columns um, probably another 20 minutes. So we keep making money. When we don't uh, work, we don't get paid. Over at the Trump Tower, Dan has to make some serious decisions that could cost time and big money. With the weather quickly turning from bad to worse, the rains begin to come down. The rain is gonna slow us down. Coles is a safety situation where men have to walk in a precarious area where footing is very critical to their work activity, then that's a decision by the workers in the foreman. Okay, so Jeremy can handle that end of it, eh? Hello. Hello. Hello, Dan. How you doing? Ted Park. Good, Rod. Yourself? Uh, we've got uh, this other trailer to unload sort of thing. We're going to stick it out in the rain for now, but uh, once we get that unloaded, I think we're going to probably pack her in and go home. Not the news Dan wants to hear. If it keeps raining, we're probably going to shut her down today. They were talking like they might get rained out, but I hope not. They're inside the building. I told them they weren't sure they wouldn't melt. Yeah, that's Dan. That's my brother. Sometimes you have to push back a little to get the job done. Over at the Richmond Bakery site, Rodrigo's doing his best to keep his crew motivated and working, even though the rain is starting to fall. He wants to make sure his bosses are impressed with his performance today. Hey, get the fuck over there where you're supposed to be, Gordy. Back at the Trump Tower, things are starting to get tense. Dan has decided to go for the lift and is now racing against the elements and the myriad of things that could go wrong. And if the piece is not hooked up properly and it fell off the, off the hook of the crane or when they're going down in, they gotta be very careful that they don't smash out the floors or any of the brick, they, they can't damage anything. It's a very delicate situation. It's getting windy. You can see the, see the plastic flapping around. With the wind now becoming a serious factor, landing the 10,000-pound window washing unit 900 feet in the air is quickly becoming a problem Dan wishes he didn't have. When we are facing a major lift situation like this, sometimes you just have to go with your gut and your past experience. Yeah. Kind of makes you feel like you're living on the edge, literally. Dan McCormick's steel and his crew of steel cowboys, it's been a typical day on the job, fighting the elements and the clock. High winds, a little rain, and the finicky Derek have been plaguing Dan's crew as they attempt to lift the 10,000 pound window washing unit to the top of the Trump Tower. With just a few meters to go, Dan's not about to quit now. We never back down. There's no job to be we can do it. We can figure anything out.
nothing makes me happier than getting the job done. With the sky starting to clear, rookie crew chief Rodrigo pushes his team to make up for lost time over at the Richmond Street Bakery site. Take the chopper off of the 97. Which one is 97, eh? When I got back to the Richmond Street site, Rodrigo had the guys going full speed. He had them going strong. There was just one little thing I noticed. Okay. Okay. Listen, we got to get some ropes up here. We're gonna get we got to get some restraints. This curb is not high enough. Okay. Very important. Guys get a little eager sometimes. They want to do well, and that's a good thing. And yet again, on the other hand, we still have to make sure that, they, uh, that they're safe. Sure. Okay. All right. Hello. Hi, hey, Dan. Dan, what the heck's going on? What do you need? Are you at Trump today? I was at Trump. I'm at the other job now. How did the Trump go today? Uh, we got the big uh, washing unit up. There was just a couple lifts and the dairy shut down. They didn't want to run it. They were having problems with the dairy. Did Rod do well today? He's got 18 climbs put up. They should get a few more today. Did they get rid of the crane? No. Are you coming to the office today? I'll be there tomorrow. OK. OK, okay bye. While the rookie crew leader has proven to Dan that he is up for the job. It's looking real good. I'm really happy with the operation here today. I couldn't be happier. But back at the office, Mark is not too happy about having to order the crane for another full day. My brother needs to calm down a little bit. Sometimes there's things you just can't control. And so ends another day for McCormick Steel and their team of Sky Cowboys. A family-run business that thrives on the hard and risky jobs no one else in the steel industry will do. And with Toronto destined to become the skyscraper capital of North America in the next 10 years, McCormick Steel has nowhere to go but up.